Hey y'all, this is Sarah. I uh, hope y'all are doing good. And in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of forgiveness. Um, we know that Christ tells us that if we want the Father to forgive us, that we have to forgive others. And there are there's no limit on what we have to forgive. I mean, I mean, not sure that came out right. Um, everything is to be forgiven. The only thing that can't be forgiven is the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which um, that's probably a topic for another time. But, and I say this as much for myself as for anybody else, because I've had to go through this with him, and honestly, I've been I've fought him a lot on that because the the carnal nature wants to take over and wants us to be a victim and wants to be right all the time we we would rather be a victim that's right and gets to hold over the um the trespass over other people's heads instead of you know forgiving and freeing ourselves from it which is very hard to do because you got um the holy spirit on one side and the carnal nature carnal nature devil on the other side that doesn't want you to forgive anybody wants you to be right and um we have to look as at Christ as our example because what he did for us I don't think we're ever really going to understand until we see him face to face until we get to heaven and get to like basically complete and perfect union with him until that point comes I don't think we'll ever really understand while we're still in the in these fleshly bodies uh, our minds aren't capable of it but I, I believe that we can get a small taste of it each time we forgive someone who has wronged us and as my sister in the Lord Janet Lynn here on YouTube has said that Forgiveness is spiritually dropping charges against someone else. And it, it has been a battle because it's, it's like a two-step forward, one-step back type thing where I think I'm doing good forgiving and then, um, then I find something happens and I find out that I'm not nowhere near as close as I was. And I, every time I see that, I have to take it to him and be like, Father, I, I want to let this go. I, I can't keep holding on to this because you told me not to. So it's every time you see yourself wanting to hold on to the wrongs that have been done to you, you have to take it to him. Um, and as his example on the cross, what we are to forgive is, and this came to me, he, he, he gave this to me at the most unexpected time. I was just sitting in my car doing... Uh, an audio diary entry which I like to do those and it it came out of my mouth and then I understood uh, like what exactly I had said and I just started laughing because I was like oh wow you know we should know being in church my whole life I should have known this but for whatever reason it was like I'm 44 years old and this is just now clicking so uh, pretty much the example he set for us on the cross was we are to forgive everything up to and including the hurt and death of our own fleshly body. There you go. That is the example he set, is it not? And <laughs> see, even now I'm still like, wow, how could I have been in church that long and not had that click? Maybe, maybe they, I don't know. I don't know why, but Maybe this would help someone else too because that's, in a way, that's, when we look at that, it's the most powerful thing. And that's where, for us who are saved, it is the power of Christ and the cross. But to the world, it's foolishness. Like, what do you mean? Who's going to do that? Why would you do that? And that's exactly what he did. He asked the Father to forgive those who were crucifying him. As, as we are too as well. Maybe not necessarily crucifixion of course but you know I think we can forgive somebody who cuts us off in traffic <laughs> you know 
Um, so another thing that I try and ask myself, and, and my carnal mind has fought against me on this too, as it will you, is that whenever you don't want to forgive someone, you have to ask, was there anything lacking in his sacrifice? No, it was perfect. And knowing that, we have no excuse. Uh, we can't. We can't hold on to our grudges and our anger and bitterness. So yeah, any time, lay everything at his feet, and you don't have to do it all at once. Ask him to work with you on what you what needs to be forgiven, and. What he's done with me, he's basically worked backwards with me in my life. And, of course, we're all works in progress, right? So, um, he already knows everything in your heart anyway. All you have to do is try and go to him prayerfully and ask him to help you uncover all of your secrets because they're secrets to you more than they are to him and yeah and he will help you get in the word pray seek his face he will lead you all right y'all y'all have a blessed day and god bless all of you